Hello all. In this video lecture, we are going to see about the signed binary numbers. The, there are two ways of representing the signed numbers that is signed magnitude form and next is the complement form. And most of the computer will be using the complement form only for performing the negative number notation. For performing negative number notation, it will be using the complement form. There are two types of complements available that is ones complement and twos complement, right? So ones complement can be said as diminished radix complement. In other words, this twos complement can be stated as radix complement. Radix represents base. As base is two here, twos complement is directly stated as radix complement. As ones complement is reducing, hence ones complement is is, is stated as reduced. Radix complement. Let's now let's see how to perform ones complement. Ones complement. Right. So now I'll go for example. Say if I have the value one zero one zero one. So if I have the value one zero one zero one, then I'll be convert converting all zeros to ones and ones to zero. That is. So this one will become zero. The next will become one. Uh, zero will become one. The next will be zero, one, zero. This will be one, two, three, four, five. This will be the this one's complement of the given thing. So I'll go for one more example. Say it is one zero. Obviously the one's complement will be zero one. This is all about one's complement. Then now we'll be going for two's complement. Two's complement will perform same operation as that of one's complement, but it will be adding one to it. That is, say I'm going for the same statement one zero one zero one. If I have this number, I will be converting all ones into zeros. So I have converted all ones into zeros. In that, I'll be adding one to it. By adding one to it, I'll be getting one one zero one zero. This is my two's complement, and this is my one's complement for same example. One's complement and two's complement. So this one's complement and two's complement are very much used in in computers for performing subtraction operation. Now let's see how the subtraction operation is done. So now subtraction using ones complement. So what we will be doing is that obtain ones complement of the subtract that is second term. Say for example, if I am going for a minus b has to be done. In this case, I will not be doing any change to my a value. I will be keeping a as such and I will be adding this value with minus b. This is what is the operation that I am going to do. That is. I will be if it is ones complement. I'll be taking ones complement of this b, and then I'll be adding it. That is, so now see here. I am going for example uh, five minus four. That is five minus four in the sense the value of five is going to be zero, one zero one is the value of five. Similarly, the value of four is going to be zero one zero zero. This is the value. Now I am going to perform a. I am going to have my a value as such. So I am not doing any change in the a value, right? Now I am going to take one's complement for four. So if I take one's complement for four, it will be one zero one one. This is one's complement of four. So it will be one zero one one. This is my one's complement. So now I am going to perform the addition operation. So addition is going to be zero. Then I'll be getting one. One plus one is zero. One carry. One plus one is zero. Hence one here. One plus one is zero. And then I am getting this carry. So my final value is this. So first taking one's complement of the subtract uh, subtract is done. Then second adding this both the value right added. Now if carry is generated. The answer is positive. Yes, in this case, carry is generated, so the answer is positive, and the carry to the least significant digit. That is, I have to 
add this carry, take this carry, carry and add with last digit. So now it will be 0, 0, 0, 1. So this will be my final output. So what is this? 5 minus 4 is nothing but 1. Similarly, the binary value what I have got is 1. This is the example of performing once a complement subtraction. That is subtraction using once complement. Now, I will go for the second case. Now, I will go for the second case. Now, I am coming for the second case. So, I am going to perform 4 minus 5. 4 minus 5. If I go for 4 minus 5, obviously, this will be 0, 1, 0, 0 will be my first value and my second value is going to be 0, 1, 0, 1. This is my second value. As I have to take uh, once complement of this, so I will be doing 0, 1, 0, 0 and I am going to take once complement of this. So, 1, 0, 1, 0 is performed. So, now I will be adding both the value 0, 1, 1, 1. So, if there is no carry, then the answer is negative. As here, it is not having any carry. Hence, it is negative. Yes, it is minus 1 here. Just look at this. By we do it, it is minus 1. Similarly, as there is no carry, it is understood that it is negative. So, if it is negative number, take 1's complement of the immediate result. Right? And place negative sign to it. Yes, I have to perform one's complement of this answer. I have to perform one's complement. So, and give negative sign to it. And give negative sign to it. Hence, I have given negative sign. So, one's complement 0, 0, 0, 1. So, this is my second case. Totally have two case. One is positive. Another one is negative. First example, what I gave is for positive. And the second example, what I give, have given for negative case. Now, I will go for 2's complement. 2's complement is going to do almost the same operation, but there will be small change in the second, uh, the, in the third stage. That is, it is going to have, if it is positive, uh, it will be getting the carry, whereas in 1's complement, we added the carry, whereas in 2's complement subtraction, we are going to ignore the carry. That is the step with respect to positive number. Similarly, if there is no carry, then it is negative number. 2 complement of taken and the result 2's complement of immediate results and place negative sign to the result is given. Let's see how it works. Right? Let's go with the same example so that it will be easy for us to understand. 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4 is going to be 0, 1, 0, 1. So, 4 value is going to be 0, 1, 0, 0. So, this is going to be, so first value, there is no change. So, 0, 1, 0, 1. And the second value, I have to take 2's complement for this. So, I am uh, taking 2's complement for 0, 1, 0, 0. So, it is going to be 1, 0, 1, 1. And I have to add 1 to it. So, it will be 0. Again, it will be uh, 1, 1, 0. Carry will be having, I will be having 0 here. 1, 1. So, this is my uh, result. So, I will be adding 1, 1, 0, 0 to it. If I add 1, 1, 0, I will be getting 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, what is this? This is my value. This is my value. So, ignore the carry. In this case, we have to ignore the carry. So, it will be 0, 0, 0, 1 is my output. Yes, it is right. Now, I will go for the second case. If I am going to have carry. Let's see what if I am going to have a carry. One second, I will go to the presentation. Yes, now I am coming for the second case. In second case, I am going to take minus 4, sorry, five, uh, five minus, 4 minus 5. So, 4 minus 5. The answer is going to be minus 1. Let's see how it is. So, this is going to be 0, 1, 0, 0. Similarly, this value 0, 1, 0, 1 is this value. So, what I have to do? I have to take 2's complement for this. So, this is 2's complement is going to be 1, 0, 1, 0 plus 1. So, this is going to be 1, 1, 0, 
1. This is my 2's complement. Now I have to add 0, 1, 0, 0 plus 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. So if we take, uh, if we look at this, so what is this? This is my answer. If no carry, then answer is negative number. Yes, it is negative number and take 2's complement of it. So I have to take 2's complement of this answer. 2's complement of this is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 1. As it is no carry, I have to put negative number. So it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is my operation for 2's complement subtraction. Hope you all understood this. I will go for one more sum in this where I have taken these two values. That is, in this I have 75, I have, I have got this value and this value. This one I have converted into um, binary value. Similarly, I have converted it and then I will be taking the ones complement of this. Right? Then I will be adding as such. As I had the carry, I am just bringing it down and adding it because it is ones complement. That is it. Right? Similar example, this is the opposite operation where we will be doing the ones complement of the answer. The same case for twos complement also. Hope you all understood the operation of uh, addition subtraction using ones complement and twos complement. Thank you.